Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to Let's Build a Big Brother House. Today, we're going to be working on the sanctuary like I mentioned last time. And uh, we're not going to make it to the living room, unfortunately. Not this part, but maybe next time. So, uh, thanks to a lot of you guys' feedback from the comments last time, I, I got the idea uh, for, for where to go with this sort of area. So it was, uh, one of the suggestions was to make it really, well actually lots of the suggestions were to make it super fancy, make it sort of a royal kind of theme, just make it like really... Uh, yeah, it's really royal and really feel like you're really important when you go there, I guess. So that's what I started off here with. I was looking for like a bed canopy. I don't know if there's like an actual item, which I completely missed. But uh, these brand new curtains that came in movie hangout stuff are uh, actually perfect for this. So I'm using these. I, ma I made them like a pink. And I'm using this to create the, the sort of canopy over the bed. I sort of play around with them a little bit and uh, see how they go. So yeah, there was a lot of really, really good suggestions. And I very much appreciate that. There wasn't... I don't think there was anything really... Uh, notable that I had to change with the kitchen. Most of you guys seem pretty okay with that. And you liked the idea of it being sort of ancient ruins theme, but you know, like proper furnishings on the inside, which I'm really happy with because I love that idea too. Um, so, and I think one of the top, the, the top rated comment as well was just saying uh, to make it um, ancient Roman ruins kind of theme or whatever like that. So that's kind of what we're doing anyway. So yeah, cool. I'm really happy about that. So that's what we're doing. Uh, the outside of the house is going to have this really cool vibe. And you'll see once we move into this sort of... Uh, the sort of courtyard garden where we sort of play around with that idea a little bit more as well. Uh, so get excited for that. But yeah, you can see I'm messing around with the bed using those little floor lining things from Sparta to create, I don't know, like a little cross beam. I don't know. I'm sure there's some really creative people out there that have already created some cool like uh, uh, large bed canopies and all that. I didn't really know what to do. So I just used those curtains, used a little bar and it kind of looked like that was there and you could like draw the curtains over it or something like that. So I feel like that kind of worked and it sort of conveyed the same idea anyway. Um, and <laughs> there they go disappearing. Uh, handy little trick actually that someone pointed out in one of the previous parts was because if you remember a few parts ago when we were doing the sort of, I guess, um, the kind of camera office slash studio kind of room where I was putting the TVs on the counters and then I painted the wall and they disappeared. Uh, pretty, pretty simple to avoid that. All you got to do is turn off move objects. The items will, like when you, and then when you paint the wall, the items will still highlight yellow, but they will no longer disappear when you paint it. So if you, if you turn off the move objects cheat, things won't keep disappearing on you. So that's really, really handy to know. So thank you very much to the, uh, the person that pointed that out a while ago. That was very useful. Otherwise it would have driven me insane. Uh, but yeah, so that worked out just fine. So I'm playing around with the bed here. I wanted to get little mirrors on the, the side tables there because I thought it looked cool. I thought it would be really cool to have all these different reflective surfaces, lots of mirrors everywhere. Uh, but it didn't really work out. So I was like, all right, well, that's not such a big loss there at all. Um, some of the other comments. There's one of the comments that uh, regarding the kitchen, um, I think it was, it was one of the fairly high up ones. Yeah, here we go. Um, so about the kitchen and how I put that sort of... Uh, uh, pot in on the table in the middle of the kitchen. I really like that for a couple of reasons because it first of all It kind of looked like a nice little terracotta pot I thought it fit the style really well, but also it's actually like a, a planter I don't think you seems can use it. I don't I don't have tried that But uh, it's actually a planter where you would grow strawberries and that kind of stuff So it basically in the context of this being a house for the TV show It would provide like a task and a thing for them to do so that had to grow the strawberries take care of them And then use them in the kitchen. So that's kind of the idea behind that uh, which I, I really liked and I thought, I thought it looked quite nice anyway. And then someone else uh, was like, there's <laughs> like, I like the idea of the colors, but it's just too much. Just the colors, oh, couldn't look at it for more than five seconds, um, which I totally disagree with. I mean, the Big Brother house, if you've, if you've ever watched any of it, a lot of the houses look absolutely crazy. Some of them are just insanely wacky and colorful and, and crazy. And also, I don't even think, I, I had a look back at the kitchen and the colors aren't even bad. Like, they're not even that bright. Like, <laughs> it just looks normal, to be honest. Uh, it looks kind of fun, so I, I enjoyed it. But yeah, here we are. So I'm doing the little living area now using that brand new coffee table from Movie Hangout stuff as well. Actually, I use quite a few things from Movie Hangout stuff. So uh, yeah, that co I, I really like that coffee table because I found out when I did my first look and overview of it that it was actually uh, on the t on the surface of the coffee table was a mirror. So it would re reflect anything you put on it. And I think it added, when you have like a mirrored coffee table like that one there, I don't know, it, it, it's, it's sort of feels uh, higher class. It, it gives it a nice sort of, a nice vibe, you know. Seems really fancy. Put some wine bottles there underneath the TV. Of course, I put it in the fireplace. Here is the dining area here. 
uh, that I'm doing now. Yeah, no, pretty pretty simple, but uh, pretty fancy, I think so. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, so, yeah, like I said earlier, we needed to get the dining area done. We needed the TV area, the bed area. So we got the bed. Obviously, we've done that, and we did the living area. Just I was trying to find something nice to put on the table, but there wasn't really anything. Uh, actually, one of the other really cool suggestions. So along the lines, I think it was that same first comment. Let me scroll back up. I always like to have my comments open up here so I can look at them real quick. Um, so I think it might have been this one. Yeah, so, yeah, so, so I think you should have, uh, co columns placed among the furniture, for example, you could merge the ruins, uh, with a sofa or with an egg chair or a bed, uh, blah, 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 that kind of stuff, so, uh, you know, sort of bring the ruins into the build as well, so I took that into account a little bit here in the sanctuary, not so much, I don't want to overdo it, but as you can see, I've, I've, I've brought some of that, those walls into the build as well, and I've got that little decorative piece there next to the dining table, so, we're starting to bring those in to the home. And I thought that was a really good idea as well. So that was part of that, that top comment that everybody seemed to like. It was the highest rated one anyway. So I, I assume people liked the idea. And I thought it worked really well uh, as well. Um, I was going to put a fish tank there. I thought it'd be a really cool divider, a room divider. But uh, there was no windows to really suit it. So it didn't really make any sense. Um, getting the beautiful bamboo plant from Spa Day. Chucking it up there. Yeah, so with this build, in case you haven't noticed, I'm not holding back on any of the content I have in my game. So I have all the stuff packs to date, all the, the game packs and all the expansions. And I'm just going to use everything because I want this to be, you know, kind of what I want it to be. Like, I want this to be as much as I can do with it uh, and make it kind of crazy. You know, I have a lot of fun with it. And I know this isn't just like a regular build. I feel like whenever I do a let's build, they, they're kind of a little bit more, you go into more detail, you get more done, you get a lot more feedback from you guys as well. So it makes sense to sort of go, go for gold and use absolutely everything, which I was surprised. There's a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of packs that, I, because you know, I, I buy the packs as they come out. Um, and then you don't realize how many there are until you're like, Oh, that was quite a lot. Cause I think it was like five stuff packs, which is crazy. Because what was it? There was perfect... No, not perfect. It was um, something party. Was it party? Oh, God. I don't even know what the first one was. I remember the first one. I wasn't impressed with it. Uh, and then <laughs> there was perfect patio stuff that was out... No. That was perfect. No, okay, I don't even know what that... Spooky stuff. I know for sure. Uh, movie hangout stuff. So that's three. What was, the, what was the fourth one? There's like five stuff packs. I don't know what they were. Let's go look it up. Let's look it up together. The Sims 4 stuff packs. Here we go. Uh, I presume someone's got like a wiki page or something, right? Here we go. Going on here. Clicking on that. Uh, luxury party stuff. That was one of them. What was the fifth one? Because there's definitely five. Uh, oh, cool kitchen stuff. That's it. Of course. Of course. Yeah. So there's five stuff packs already. That's crazy. And then there's what? Like two, is it only two game packs? Outdoor living and spa day. And then two expansions. So I, I imagine we'll probably be getting a game pack in the nearish future. I would imagine anyway. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I imagine we'll probably, it'll probably go game pack, another stuff pack, and then an expansion. Or maybe it might go game pack, two stuff packs, and then an expansion. And then after that, probably another game pack. And I don't know. I feel like they're doing one game pack between each expansion. Or at least that's kind of how it looks to be. Uh, you don't really know their sort of patterns until it sort of progress. Anyway, I don't know why I'm talking about that. In the build, uh, the bathroom, so I made it a little bit bigger because I couldn't really fit a shower in. I felt like it kind of needed a shower. And you saw where I was playing around with half walls for a bit there because I wanted, I really, I really need, I really wish they had a, a shower that was just a shower head. Like just a shower head, the taps and a drain. No like frame or glass around it. So then you could just make your own shower. Because I really just want to make these really big luxurious showers that, you know, are like two by two, just giant showers, you know, because that, that would be really cool. And I think that would have worked really well here. Now, I'm aware, and I know a lot of people are probably saying, oh, you could just use custom content and that kind of stuff. I have never been one to really get stuck into custom content for a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, I always share my houses via the gallery. Oh, back in The Sims 3, you know, I shared them on my website and on the exchange. And when you use custom content and share your lots, it becomes really confusing and it it's just kind of messy because then you have to, every time you share something, you have to link everything you use and make sure whoever's downloading it has all that content. And it just becomes, basically, if you're someone that builds lots and shares them, it, it essentially just becomes a nightmare to try and uh, make sure people are aware that there's custom content and you need it. So I always, that's why I always find it easier to just not use it. And also, I i don't really like custom content. Like, don't get me wrong, I like the idea of it, but I don't like that I have to, you know, make sure it's working and, and that there's no bugs and that. And as someone who runs, you know, a YouTube channel based entirely on The Sims and I'm always making content, 
I don't want to have to spend, you know, like maybe however many minutes of my, maybe not minutes, how many, however many hours of my time trying to figure out why my custom content's not working or finding new content and that kind of, it's just basically, in a nutshell, it's easier for me to not use it. And that's why instead I will keep, uh, uh, keep berating the Sims team to give me more things such as carpeting floor tiles. We only have two, three if you include the spooky stuff one, but that carpet is awful. So I don't include that one. Uh, I will keep asking them for more carpet floor tiles until they give it to us because I, I do see them in person fairly often. I saw them twice last year. So, uh, every time I go there, I'm going to, if, if we don't have any, I'm going to keep asking them. The other thing, uh, someone actually brought up and I was like, oh yeah, that's probably a good point is more beds. We really, there's like no beds in the game. Like we have, there's like three beds that I use. Like this, that's it. I use three different beds all the time. Really, they need to do what that mod, I, I showed off this mod a while ago. Uh, it was the, it's not even a mod, it was custom content. Uh, it was the one where you had the separate bed frames and then you placed the mattresses on top. That's exactly what they just need to do. It's not even hard. Like it, it would probably take them at most like a day. It's basically just creating, uh, well, not even, you create one mattress that has all the kind of sheets and, and pillow ray colors. And then you just create different bed frames and they already have bed frames so they could just separate them out and then boom, you're done. And then you've got all these mattresses and bed frames. And then essentially to upgrade your bed, you could just make more mattresses. So you could have, you know, a really cheap mattress and then maybe a mattress, the mattress that costs like $12,000, which would be the best bed. And you could put that on any frame. It just makes so much sense. And I don't know why they haven't done it because it's a mod that does the exact same thing. But then I guess if there's, a, that's, that's really the crux of the problem there. It's really a catch 22. The thing is, if there's a mod that does something that a game doesn't, the developers are far less likely to actually do that thing in the game. Sometimes, uh, in some circumstances, that yeah, they will contact like the mod creator and ask if they can do it or whatever. Um, but more often than not, than not uh, especially uh, if, especially with a game like The Sims where they can do so many things, um, they, at least this is my reasoning behind it, and well, this is my thoughts behind it. They are probably they would probably rather spend their time doing something new that a mod can't do or hasn't done rather than doing something a mod already has. But I, there's some mods that I would really, really love them to just be part of the game because it makes so much sense. <coughs> Mattresses and carp. Can we just get some carpets? Ooh. Anyway, that's my rant about, uh, <laughs> about custom content and mods. So yeah, here's why I'm bringing more of the Ancient Ruin theme in uh, because I think it's really cool. So you also saw, like I said, uh, in the last part of this Let's Build, I said I was going to uh, just change the whole courtyard to floor tiles and I've done that now. And I just used the grass floor tile to cover it all up. And around the pool, I've now done, you know, some of those ruin aspects. And I think it, I think it really looks cool. I, that suggestion, best thing of my life. It just gives the house character as well. Like it's just something to experience rather than, oh, look, that's just a house with weird hallways and spy cameras. It kind of, <laughs> it kind of gives it more of a character rather than uh, just being a regular standard looking house. Uh, and also, I don't know if you noticed it earlier, but I changed the big TV on the wall in the courtyard there, that one there, to the one that came in movie hangout stuff because people, again, they said I should have done that last time, but of course I didn't actually have it last time I recorded, so I didn't, but I have now, so there you go. Uh, so that's changed over. Um, and then, yeah, so going around, I, I know you saw I was doing lots of detail. I got those waterfalls from Spa Day. I was going to put one of those waterfalls in the sanctuary, uh, but then I was like, that doesn't really make any sense because if you had waterfall running the entire time, so you'd be in the bed trying to sleep and you'd have this water running, you'd need to go to the toilet like 24-7. Uh, so I didn't put it in there in the end because it didn't really make sense. Instead, we put it outdoors because I thought that was a pretty cool place to put it. And we got this beautiful pool uh, with all these stones and ruins and kind of stuff around that. And then usually, uh, at least in the Australian version, they have like a barbecue outside. I don't know. Again, everything I'm doing is based off the Australian version. I haven't seen any of the others. Um, yeah, so I've got a barbecue out here so I can uh, fry up some shrimp, as you Americans call it. Even though, I don't, I don't know why. I think it was a tourism campaign that uh, throw, shrimp, throw some shrimp on the barbie came from. We don't even call them shrimp. We call them prawns. Shrimp is not correct. It's prawns. God. Um, anyway, I thought I'd go around and sort of paint the rest of the house, and it turns out that I didn't want to paint the outside. Obviously, the outside of the house is supposed to just be like, it's, it's basically this whole house, quote unquote house, is just a studio. Like, it's just a set. It's a big set piece, and that's what I'm making the outside of it look like. It's just a big concrete building. And that's pretty much what it is in real life. If you go, I don't know if it still exists. Um, it probably does. It's in Dreamworld here in Australia. Um, and I've been there, I've been there once when I was like a kid, and it's basically just a 
big block of walls uh, from the outside. It's just a big, it is like a big commercial building, basically. So that's kind of what I made it look like from the outside, except for the entrance. I gave it that little wood pattern and I'm plonking a sign on there. But that pretty much wraps it up for this part. So if you have any comments, suggestions on feedback of what we did now, make sure to put them down below and we can correct them next time. Uh, we'll probably do more on the courtyard next time and maybe a bit of the living room. So you can leave suggestions on that as well if you like. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time and have an awesome day.